we now have this new thing called magnetism. And the first thing to realize is that it's not the same as electric fields. A magnetic field and electric field are not the same. Okay? We've all seen a bar magnet, right? And we've all seen a compass. Let me see if I can actually project this. And a compass needle points in what direction? North. Points north, along the north south. So here is a compass. And here's a bar magnet. And I bring one end of this bar magnet nearby. And it seems like it's attracting one end of the compass. And I flip it, and it seems like it's attracting the other end of the compass. And I say, well, maybe that's just a, some sort of static electric charge on the uh, on this little piece of metal here. It's maybe polarized somehow, and it's affecting this. Well, that's possible. But I could, I'm not going to go through it, but I could disprove it by saying if I brought a... Um, a, uh, a charged piece of tape, for example, near this thing, might be able to get it to attract the needle, but it would tra attract either end of the needle. Okay, there wouldn't be a, a dependence, right? There would be, okay, you, if you brought it near this end, it would polarize it and attract it. If you brought it near the other end, it would polarize it and attract it. So it's different, right? Or if I brought a, a charged tape near one end of the compass, I'd see attraction to both ends. Okay, so I wouldn't see repulsion from one end, meaning it's not just static charge on the, edge, the ends of a bar magnet. Okay. Another thing that's kind of different about magnetism is, and here's a simple little circuit. Okay. I've got two batteries hooked up together to a light bulb. And if I connect the circuit, lo and behold, the light bulb lights up. If I bring the, let me disconnect it for a second. I bring the wire nearby, wire of this battery, uh, the circuit nearby. And nothing happens, okay? I connect the circuit together and I bring the wire nearby. You see that? It's kind of deflect. If I move it away, it goes back to where it was. Maybe if I kill the lights, it would help. Move it away and it kind of points, the needle is pointing north, something like that, right? Bring the wire nearby. And the needle is deflected. And if I change the direction of the wire here, if I deflect it the other direction. And if I disconnect the circuit, it goes back to where it was. That's different too, right? We can't just explain that with static charges because the uh, you know there really is no well, there's very at least very little static charge and and the key idea here is that when you have a circuit, what's going on with the charges inside? Electrons inside the wire are doing what? They're moving. Okay, so you have moving charges that are somehow affecting this, uh, this compass, which is essentially a bar magnet. So magnetic fields have to do with moving charges. The key idea behind a compass is that the needle points in the direction of the net magnetic field at that particular location. Okay, so we can use the compass as a magnetic field detector. We don't know how it works yet, but we can just say, okay, compass needle is going to point in the direction of the net magnetic field at that location. Well, the Earth is a bar magnet, and we'll talk more about that later. But the Earth makes its own magnetic field, and we've known for centuries that it points north. Right? That's where this whole comes from, all comes from. So if you have a just the magnetic field due to the Earth, your compass needle is going to point north. 